BBC News correspondent Lara Folayan joins me now for more on this. Lara, please bring us up to speed with uh, the conference. Okay, today is the World Consumer Rights Day. It's a day observed all over the world to celebrate consumers' rights. And the theme for this year is Trusted Smart Products. And the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, which was formerly known as the Consumer Protection Council, this year did something different. In previous years, we actually usually see the, the commission going out on a roadshow to educate consumers on their rights, but it did something different this year. It took its uh, consumer rights campaign to a business hub for the sale of smart card products here in Abuja. It act, it's actually the, the Banex Plaza. And at the, at the forum held earlier, just a few minutes, which ended a few minutes ago, the, the, the commission interacted with traders. It, it actually gave the traders the floor to express themselves on issues they have with consumer rights. And some of the issues raised by the traders during that particular interactive session was that they want an improved collaboration between the commission and them. And they also talked about the need for the commission to establish itself within this premises. They say that when issues of consumer complaints arise, they would like the, the commission's present here presence here. So such issues could be reported to the Commission and it could be settled amicably. The, the traders also asked for better consumer education on warranties, for example. They say they are not very knowledgeable on how that works and would like the Commission to educate them on that. And they also talked about the, the need for the Commission to, be, to stop being so biased. They say when an issue of bad um, consumer experience happens and the issue is reported to the commission it usually takes sides with the consumers and they will want the commission to stop that and the commission in its response reminded the traders that they are also consumers themselves because they purchase these products either here locally from the manufacturers or import them from other clients into nigeria and so it also has a right to protect it also has the responsibility to protect your rights from consumer rights abuse and it actually denied the accusation that it was biased towards favoring the consumers wherever an issue of consumer rights abuse um, happened. And it actually told the, the traders to be more educated on the kinds of products they, they buy before they bring them into the country. Mm -hmm. And it also told them that they should stop purchasing products blindly, that when they place an order for a product and it comes into the country or it gets to them from the manufacturers, manufacturers they should actually test those products before on what sale to their, their customers or before stocking their shops with those products to actually m ensure that it meets whatever service it was being projected to give to the consumers, that this will help eliminate issues of consumer rights abuses. And they also told the, the um, traders to ensure that they also educate themselves. And they also asked the traders on if, on if the Manufacturers actually interact with them whenever right. they want to All introduce right. any new Lara. product into the market. Thank you and so much for, for bringing us updates from uh, the Consumer Protection Conference.